Hi girls, today I'm doing a product review. It's uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation by Chanel. And as you can see, it's really teeny tiny. It comes uh, in a confection of only 30 milliliters. And when a sales assistant first gave me the product, um, I thought it's like a nail polish or something. I thought she made a mistake because it's just so tiny. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be uh, over with this product before I even started using it. And it's 38 euros. The retail price is 38 euros at my local Sephora in Italy. Luckily, I did have 20% off coupon. So that was a little bit more convenient, sort of speaking. Now let me tell you what have I noticed about the foundation, how it acts on my face and things like that. Now, first I have to mention my face is oily to combination and it's prone to breakouts and blemishes. Uh, this foundation has got a really um, light texture, so it won't clog your pores, but it won't give you a super extra coverage, but it will make your skin tone, you know, really even and kind of radiant, glowy, but not shiny or oily, if that makes sense. So. It's really amazing product. I love it for my oily skin. I love it for my breakout prone skin. What I do to give it a little bit of an extra coverage is I use my concealers. I use my Boeing concealers and apply it with my MAC concealer brush on the spots where I need to conceal a little bit more. Yeah, I don't really build the foundation, you know what I mean. I just, you know, press uh, really, really tiny little dot of the product and work it with my fingers all over my face and uh, in my neck as well and uh, it just really evens out my skin tone and it's so natural looking it feels like uh, you don't really wear any makeup but you look really really good it's so much uh, different than other foundations that I have tried and um, I can really kind of justify the price in terms that I would repurchase this product. I only wish it wasn't so expensive. Yeah, but uh, if you can afford this, then definitely go ahead and try it out. It contains Sun Protection Filter 15, which is also always a good thing with your foundation. So you should make sure that you're always wearing a Sun Protection Filter on your face even in winter time and when I mentioned that I'm applying it with my fingers on my face it's actually a little tip that I picked up from a Chanel makeup artist uh, it's actually recommended that you do not use this foundation with a sponge or with a brush but that you actually work it on your face with your fingertips now I believe one of the reasons for doing that is also because when you're using your sponge or your brush you're usually using a more product yeah, so it's just something that I've noticed. When I'm using only my fingers as my tools, foundations last longer. Whereas if I'm applying my foundations with makeup sponge or makeup brush, I really tend to use it up uh, quickly. So I don't know if that's the main reason. Probably it's not. Uh, probably it's just the texture that uh, works uh, best when applied with fingers. When you first apply it on your face, it looks uh, and feels quite watery, I would say, but it takes only a matter of instant to transform this foundation into kind of a powdery finish. So you don't even need to apply translucent loose powder or anything to set up your foundation because uh, this will really transform itself so it's just amazing how it works on uh, your face. it's uh, actually defined by chanel company the most sensational of all chanel foundations make sure that you shake it well before you use it every single time but they have got a fairly good selection of colors i was trying to decide between two shades actually uh, between 20 beige which is a really light one with kind of yellowish undertones and um, this one that I ended up purchasing it's 22 beige rosé and this one is also very light very fair but it has got um, a slight rose undertone which I'm not really a big fan of but sales assistant actually convinced me that uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous on your face well on my face 
on my skin tone, on my skin color and this time I really decided to trust her and I just got this shade and I am really really happy with my choice because it really suits me, the color is just perfect and it really looks uh, amazing on. What I did, I tested it out here so uh, here is where my skin is really really fair and where it is like the most similar to my face or you can also uh, test it out on your neck but I was wearing a foundation on my neck so I just tested it out here so my opinion on this foundation is that it really is sensational I love it, I have never tried anything similar and I would highly recommend it a negative thing is the price because it's super expensive um, considering that you only get 30 milliliters of the product but um, you have to use it kind of sparingly in terms that you don't really need to apply a lot of product uh, anyway uh, just a small pump will do for your entire face and neck as well if you have oily to combination skin it will work well for you as well because you can easily build up the coverage or conceal the spots that you have with your uh, kind of heavy duty concealers so don't worry about that but it will just uh, make your entire face look really really healthy and just very natural basically uh, so you will be a natural beauty <laughs> this foundation is so uh, light that it will allow your face to breathe throughout the whole day and it will just make your entire complexion really flawless and uh, your complexion will also look really fresh and just uh, really natural it's uh, like a great alternative to a nude skin which is definitely in right now a lot of companies are coming up with foundations that are supposed to give you this nude perfect skin effect so they are really really light formulas but they are taking care of your skin and they are concealing all the imperfections that uh, you might have on your face this foundation contains lotus water and the brown seaweed extract so how cool is that? that is something that definitely has to have some kind of positive impact on our skin toning and energizing properties so that was my quick review on Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation it's my first Chanel foundation but it certainly is one of the best and one of the best foundations that I have ever tried I will stick to Chanel from now on I'm assuming Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this review, hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions or requests for my future videos, don't forget to leave me your comment. I always love to hear from you. You can connect with me on Twitter, Formspring, Facebook and blog, where I update every single day, so make sure to check it out and I'm always happy when I have new followers. Now I'm sending you all a huge kiss from Italy and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Ciao!